After meeting with the widow of a high-ranking military officer who was a symbol of the 1964-85 to 85 dictatorship, in front of journalists, Jair Bolsonaro praised Colonel Ustra. A national hero who prevented the country falling into the kind of thing that the left would still like today. Bolsonaro pays tribute to a colonel recognized as a torturer and questions the responsibility of the dictatorship. Lawyer Felipe Santa Cruz is president of the Brazilian Bar Association. His father is one of the more than 400 people killed or disappeared during the dictatorship. Bolsonaro recently claimed he was murdered by leftist militants and not by the military regime. I feel like he was murdered a second time. His death certificate had been published a few days earlier by the commission investigating the deaths and disappearances that took place during the dictatorship. There is evidence of his detention, official documents of the armed forces attesting to his disappearance while in the hands of the state. In 1964, then army captain Ivan Proenza refused to go along with a military coup. He would not send his troops in against students besieged in this university. I entered the building and ordered the windows to be opened and I saved about 400 students who were inside. Well, they were the same age as those who take photos with him today. For Proenza, it's unbearable to hear Bolsonaro talking about a democratic military regime. This government is already rewriting history from the most undesirable angle. This can't be allowed to go on. It is not possible that still today we relieve these authoritarian times here in Latin America. Of more than 400 people killed or disappeared during the dictatorship, half are still missing today. This might not improve. Bolsonaro has changed the composition of the commission looking into these crimes, bringing in members of his party who may well have little sympathy for the victims of the dictatorship.